incredible cast of analysts, Yanko and Mathieu, setting the scene perfectly. Let's get into it, though. It looks like an A-pop, and shock and awe seems to be the proposed strategy. One expert favoring the favorites, who would have guessed it. One for one opens up, and the fact that Simple's down puts that armored CZ to bed. Boomage catches one, and it does look like they're going to commit, and just like that bit, finishes off the round nicely, leaving only Diho with nothing. you just seen right... Oh, Whee! that was not too bad. <laughs> uh, three more to find those. This isn't going to be easy for Diho. Oh, the A-site, bro. I mean, like, we're, we're going to be talking about it a lot. We're going to be seeing it a lot. But I'm interested to know how much Ents as a team coming in as the underdog looking to surprise are going to hit the less favoured side. Yeah, well, on the pistol round, you're seeing how quick and how easy it can all fall apart, right? The ranges of those USPs, if they can keep you one by one filing out of that A main corridor, you are just going to get slaughtered. Seems like a good idea, right? You know the smokes that you need, but it never seems to really work in the officials. So, good start here from Bip. The headshot, the first kill, that's what we'll be keeping our eyes on as well. We yeah. love his headshot percentage. And, and, and don't forget just his incredible performance from IEM Cologne, now back, to looking to replicate that. He had like one iffy game, I think, at the start of the group, where they kind of fell off him and Electronic disappeared, but it seemed like the consistency has been there, and they're looking fierce. Oh, Simba's been run down. Lots of pressure on him, and he's going to be jumped on. Okay, Spings, a deagle upgrade, very short-lived, and the Famas good for two. Make it three. Bit, speak of the devil. Puts three in the feed, and the rest, well, it will fall into place nicely. The smokes are still up. If they drop a second temple, they might be able to plant bits in a prime position to deny it. Oh, Boomage is here now with Donut, too. This oh, one's done. Yeah, he's going to get the ace if he's not careful. Hades oh, finished like off, and that's all five. Wow, bit. Newest arrival to Na'Vi, but you could be fooled. He looks very comfortable in that jersey. Okay, well, right there, we got the shock, right? Uh, Simple was in awe of that fast Donut <laughs> push, but... Uh, it didn't net them too much, right? You'd be loving to get a plant out of a round like this where you've heavily invested. And I just want to mirror or at least echo some of the sentiments the desk is talking about. If Ents are able to get their fast paced style to work, then they can put Na'Vi in a position where they can be susceptible to losing rounds and spiraling out of control. But if you unfortunately lose the pistol, go for a force buy, you find yourself in this scenario right here where you're down to just a couple of light upgrades, no armor behind it whatsoever. And well, Boomage, you know he loves that MP9. Look at a farm. I have found Simple, so... Spinks over towards mid does manage to get them a consolation frag, but with three players surviving and there's still a minute 25 on the clock here, going to be difficult for Ents to find too much. Now, it's not that Ents have slouches on Ancient either. I think if you look at a couple of their results, a few of them were in the Gamers Without Borders tournament. I know... Uh, the desk and myself, we don't put too much weight. I think we can consider that a show match. Yeah, it's like an exhibition, the yeah. charity matches, right? There's always a, a different level of competition. I mean, Spinks found one here. It'd be unlikely he gets fed another. Boomage keeps them held. Spinks has fallen, and the rest just thrown into this MP9 meat grinder. MP, MP9s from Perfecto and Boomage filling the feed. That's where you want to be, right? If you're able to get that B control on the CT side and hold the T's back, that is really a big tick in the box to winning rounds and having a lot of map control across the board. But we are about to get into the gun rounds here. And so by their time, they've now gotten out their AK-47s. And I was just having a little bit of a look on the history for Ents in terms of uh, the players and their ratings. Hades is the highest rated player for Ents on Ancient, right? He's been uh, their best player, at least uh, the Isn't he the highest rated in general? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but Ancient was one where I just wanted to specifically see because an all foreign impact on Ancient, we've seen it in mixed bags. It's that mid control utility being limped on out here. So Spink's working on his little project while the rest of them are all corralled over towards the B site following Snappy, the in-game leader, with the bomb. They've got plenty of U2 here to pincer onto the site. Boomich and Perfecto currently hold. Both of MP9, so they'd love to be able to play around the execute utility. So when you do see this hit come in from Ents, expect these MP9s to be quite pushy in their face, trying to get a little bit slimy about things. Well, I say that, they've actually dipped on back out of dodge here. Boomich just ran away. Perfecto now isolated over towards the right-hand side of the big block. And they're completely smoked off, so they're just going to walk in for free here, Ents. Pretty much an uncontested plan. Game on. Bomb down, courtesy of Snappy. Rotates on its way. First contact found, and bomb now ticking. Ents, their priorities here are to delay. And Frank's one of the best ways to do so. Pre-aim's good. They're ready for Perfecto to emerge out of his hidey hole. And a nice clear from Hades. Gets away with it. 
20 HP, Heart still beating. They're taking multiple engagements. The flash from Simple sets them up, and now it's Boomich that's knocked two down. Problems now. They better have their lineups good for the defuse. Sphinx is holding it. He better be willing to challenge. Oh my god, very close. Bodyguard is nice lead, but they forced him off the bomb. That frag was everything from Dodo. And so ends will convert, but by the skin of their teeth. I can't believe they pulled that one off, right? Na'Vi retake utility. They knew exactly what they were playing for. They had the top of the B ramp smoked off. They had cave smoked off. It looked like they had this one every this. day of the week. So, so they, they jump out together. Doto first. He starts spraying. It I spins see. the draws bits cross there. Okay. So if bits, if bits covering the left side of the pole, then it's likely that Simple gets the guy coming around the right. But he's gone for the odd fight, and that has netted the first round here for Ents. Now, their money's still pretty rough. Look at it right now. We've got Galils, three of which, two AKs. Util there in this same mid-util to take control here. Na'Vi, unable to contest here. Simple condemned to Donut. Bit smoked off towards the top red house, and now they start their crawl over towards A main. You've got three players, Doto, Diha, and Hades. Snappy not too far behind, and Spinks ready to pressure through Donut. Simple's about to be tested. Yeah, he's got to do a lot here. Multiple targets, and already two have fallen. The bomb down. Simple just says no. Ents denied upon entry. Spinks with something to say. Multiple targets, multiple angles, and his position is no secret. He's now isolated. Snappy's been caught elsewhere. So the man from Israel with four on his plate. And already catches the flag. Multiple targets, a hard transfer. It will be Na'Vi's, and immediately they condemn Ents back into the pits of Squalor. Yeah, this is just going to be a pistol upgrade again here. So Lost Bonus is starting to build. That's one positive that we have going for Ents. But if we just take stock of what's happened in the first five rounds of play, pistol round, let's consider it a 50-50 round. They've gone A, they've got absolutely rinsed. The next round, they've gone for an upgrade into Tech Nines and Util. It's not a 50-50 round. We maybe call it 65-35. Quick, quick right? Yeah, they tried to do a split, right? We're talking about buy in that scenario, going for the force by T-side. 65-35 in favor of Na'Vi. Na'Vi dispel them over towards A again. The next round, it's just the light pistols. They get oh. destroyed trying to go B, and now they're going B again. Yeah, so much damage as well. At least 100 from one AG. That's not bad. D has used his MAC-10 and found an upgrade, which leads to another head. Oh, and Sphinx as well is present. That has fallen apart fast for Na'Vi. Might just be the save here. Simple and bit. They're looking like they want to at least see what's going on. It's going to grab a nice one. If he can find another frag here around the long corner. He's looked so good, Chad. And he's not stopping anytime soon. Bit is here to play today. The quarterfinals bringing the best out of him. What is that? 13 and 2. Oh, retake smokes. They have two right now. They can smoke off long. They can smoke off over towards cave. And they can just defuse the There's bomb a kit here. Kit on site. Kit on site needs to be retrieved. Doto to come up clutch. Smokes are up. Kit's retrieved. Will Bit finish off with a fourth? They fake it out. They're not in a rush. They should be holding it now. Gonna have to hurry up, and that's the frag they were waiting for. He's on it. It's gonna be close. He kind of double tapped it, dude. He double tapped it. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> just squeaking that one through there, Navi. So, Ents, they've had more success when they've hit this B bomb site, right? My point was earlier, on the third round of play, they had nothing. They just got destroyed. But when they did go B for the slow hit, they were able to get the bomb down. That was where they got their first round. This here was a force or a half by scenario that was a bit quicker over towards B. They get in again, they get the bomb down. B seems to be in the early stages, at least where there's a little bit more gear. This is just in the lobby. It looks kind of meek in comparison. Wow, you've uh, thrown down the gauntlet there to one Carlos. I think he's probably working on rebuilding that League of Legends team at the moment, though. So, bigger fish to fry is... Well, Doto, he's fried. Just mollied on down. Perfecto. With a kill, doesn't even have to do anything, really. Just lob out a $600 grenade and away you go. So, this is a great start here for Na'Vi. Now, I don't know if everybody caught that little HLTV.org piece. You were telling me about it in the car on the way and Simple saying this is a bit of a coin toss, huh? Yeah. Well, his, his conversation was just that anyone that picks it has to accept or be aware that it is a coin toss. You don't know what your opponent's going to be, how, how prepared your opponent's going to be. It's in flux, right? It's, so, it's super, yeah, undetermined. I think his analysis was that there's always going to be a new nade, a new push, a new angle, and that leads to the volatility of it. So walking out mid now late, we didn't see the typical mid util, or at least they didn't try and profit from it, contained at that point. We're reaching the 50 second mark and that one frag has really taken the pace out of this from Ents. Perfecto, however, on one of his many jiggles has met Hades Orp, a reactionary smoke boomage to call for help and Simple will oblige. Well, they can still get locked out here. There's a smoke for Hades ready to be lobbed on out. That looks like it's over towards the cave or short side of the B-bomb site. There's 
a molly, molly for the cubby and some flashes to work with here. But this is going to be difficult still for Entz. Below 30 seconds now, they have to go. Yeah, and Electronic starting his flank as well. This could be quick. This could be well timed. They're already aggressing. Should be safe. Snappy's around the corner as well, but he's going for that punish on Cave. Their backs are turned. Sphinx is booked, and it's all Navi. You know where he is, but there's so many more to worry about. He goes hunting and a missed shot. Leads to the end of Entz on the seventh. That's a quick start for Na'Vi. I mean, you said it was the most or second most CT bias map, but it's still like that 55, isn't it? It's something 54. Yeah, it, it's it's floating. That's around. the thing, right? It, 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 how much? We're not talking like it's a 70-30 by any means, no. but it's uh, it's up in the mix. You see, Dodo couldn't find any safe havens within the flames just there, getting burned alive, and that's great from Boomage. This is both bomb sites, obviously very susceptible to the spam with the current way that teams are taking either of these sites, right? So uh, difficult to get on in without taking any damage whatsoever. But here we go. It is another one of these lighter purchases out of Ents. Can we have like some A smokes tutorials, please, uh, Rushley? Here's the thing that when they've gone A, Alex, they haven't gotten anything out of it, right? They're getting absolutely blanked over towards this side. They haven't gotten a plant when they've gone towards A. Uh, which one's D has? Because I know Snappy's. Yeah, I, I want to see this D has smoke. What are you cooking up? Sphinx is holding his, but I think that's for later on in the piece, maybe the extinguish. OK. This looks like it should be Donut. I think yeah. it's going to bounce Likely off the Likely off the top of Temple. Okay, that's an easy donut. And the Temple thrown out by Snappy. Well, the util's in. You better have something prepared. Bit comfortable. Anti-flash and the support again. Electronic sets them up this time. I have to say, I'm seeing some common trends in Na'Vi's defense. And I'll talk about it in a second, because D has just got one opportunity with a Tech-9, and he is unchecked. Could be a chance onto Electronic. But yeah, the trend, this common trend of seeing what Bit just did there as a prime example, just biding his time for the team flash and peeking late as they're all strafing out. It's exactly how they've been succeeding over on B as well. There's always a flash and that aggressive push. It seems like Bit typically is the one being set up. Yeah, one of the things that you can tell, right, because we never really get a look at the team communications, and for, and for good reason, right? Yeah. First of all, a bunch of teams that don't speak English, so most of us aren't going to understand. Second of all, that's where the bloody trade secrets are, guys. But if you see a lot of these guys flashing for each other and they're peeking off of those flashes, that's when you know communication and teamwork is at its all-time high. Yeah, because you've got such a good mental image of what's coming towards you that the flash can win you around. $200, very, very, very well spent. Could boost. Don't need to. Ooh, this is going to be aggy. Very aggy. And the, there's a bit of a containment tag. They know that Boomich has forced forward. Uh, Snappy smoked. Yeah, Snappy's given away that he was top mid with that util there as well, right? They haven't actually tried to creep through that very much. So Snappy aggressive will drop on back. And they are just going to look to finish over towards this B bomb site one more time. But that util has drawn three individuals. Electronic Simple and Boomich are all over here checking this out. Oh. I think Boomich is about to try and flash them out mid for some info. So. Pressure is on Perfecto on these Jiggles, and it looks like he has enough time. There's that flash ready for Boomich. Perfecto will drop his smoke right now. That's going to buy him a buffer, so a bit of extra time here, but that also now allows Ents to start setting up this execute towards B. Yeah. Bit and Electronic are about to clear mid. They could both be on the flank. Boomich, Perfecto, and Simple are already on the site, so they're more than ready for this one. This bodes so well. I mean, there's zero secret now as to what Ents are up to. They've solved all the mysteries. And now it's just a question of execution. Pfft, execution will be light. A smoke, a Molotov, three flashbangs. Good luck, have fun. 30 seconds, they're looking to break Na'Vi here. That's a T-Smoke denying Simple. More in the air, trying to find Hades with some... Oh, speaking of aggression, oh my goodness, Electronics got them both booked. It's worked twice. Good for it. No concern for that late ledge play. And now the crossfire established. Electronics back and in the cave. An easy denial. The Ents are booked here. 15 seconds, a 2v2 courtesy of that D, her and Hades pairing. <laughs> but he's just so low. Good luck, mate. It will be denied. One to the thigh and another for Na'Vi. Wow, it just seems too easy, doesn't it? Like, I know it gets down to a two on two, but it never looks like an unlosable scenario there for Na'Vi. They just have so many barbs here and they just keep sticking it straight through Ents' heart. This is their map choice. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, the thing is, look, I, I'm sure that they're going to be happy taking this risk, but if it falls flat and they lose like 16 to 4, that's going to really, really suck. On the other side of things, if they can keep this close, it's not looking good right here, right now. You go into Nuke, you're going to be a little bit confident for Ents on Nuke, even though it's a great map for Na'Vi. Ents love it too. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the way they play. Like this, fast. Yes, this is it. This is the Ents flavor. And as I say that, Sphinx gobbles up a flashbang and Simple's here to ruin the day of Doto. There you go. Boom, it's down. More to come. Hard fight for Doto to be trying to win. And the bomb unlikely to be planted. They're all here. 
They're all here in simple <laughs> walk. Just find them. Straven straight through that smoke. Oh dear. Okay. I think this is uh, the worst case scenario starting to manifest now. One of the things that Maniac was pointing out is you need to force Na'Vi to, to respect you so that you can actually play Counter-Strike. I know that sounds silly. No, it doesn't. Right? But you need to be able to... Kind of hinges on this round, though. All right. I, I, all I, your eggs in this basket. It's all in this round. I want to see something different. D here on the A-Lurk. It's a bit of a better variation. He's been effective on that in my show match, for sure. Oh, they've uh, lost mid already. I like this, though, from Hades. He's favored here. And he, oh no, just short of the mark. Need the trade from Snappy, and he gets it for the heavy blood price. Down to 18 points of health. Good luck, mate. Yeah, may as well use your util because you're about to catch one on the nose. Saved from the first. Simple deals <laughs> with Sphinx's aggression. And Ents, yeah, okay, I'm starting to. You see, they're not respecting to him. To jump on board, they're not at all. You, I mean, this is not the same Na'Vi that you, you you can force to play, you know, a different game. Oh, watch how easy this kills me. Knife. Ah, uh, dearie me. Okay. The way Yanko put it as well, it's like, you can't beat Na'Vi at their own game. And right now, Na'Vi don't even need to play their own game. But the thing is, it's not like Ents haven't had chances to rumble them. Hmm? They have, yeah. right? And that fast, scrappy B that they had earlier, they get in the site and they oh, were the able to get... Four, exactly, bit, yeah. right? They don't lose that, all right? It's, it, with, there's a chance for a different narrative. You had the one where they were able to high tailor out mid, run down simple with Donut. I think Sphinx was the one who killed him with the jumping tech nine. That was an opening, right? If they were able to then convert that and have more chaos behind that and get a round out of that, they, you know, completely different conversation. But you guys have just tuned in. The scoreline is currently 10 to 1, and it's not looking like that's going to change anytime soon because back down to pistols. Do you know something that's been missing from this T side events? It's interesting, but it's like that, that red room presence. Like, we haven't, they, they throw the mid util, but we know how effective it can be in the ninjas T sides. If you haven't seen anything in mid, and as I say that, Sphinx on his mid presence has dealt with Simple's hunt. Yeah, not happy with that one there, Simple. You can see his reaction on the cam on the way out, but. 4v5, this is one of the best opportunities we've had from Ents in quite a while. Now, their buy doesn't look great, but their numbers do. The util not bad either, and if they can swarm this B bomb site, that might be the wrong call. There's three players currently stood strong. Boomich in cave, Electronic and Perfecto were tagged or teamed up, and it's just Bit really on his lonesome. To be fair, I, I stand away from Bit him. right now. So, yeah, maybe B is the right option here. Yeah, I think, you know, they come to his site twice. He kills three of you, then four of you. I think you're like, maybe we'll try the other letter. Now, the setup is stacked. And perhaps if they could get the bomb down, the avenue through ramp is open for business. A nice little lineup from Snappy does force Electronic to pay attention. I guess the info here Sphinx, but the AK was juggled. It doesn't matter. Electronic holds the line. All the bullets he needs. Hades the last on the menu, and he doesn't get back in to cover. Okay, well, a bomb plant's nice. Yeah, bomb plant's pretty good. Yeah, ah, people Max like lost those. Bonus, they can buy now, but you're seeing right there the power of that cave position as well. So, Ancient is still evolving, but in that approach right there, smoking the left and the right sides, you're able to get into the side and get the bomb down. That's what we saw. But if you push past the magic line, these are great fights for Electronic. It doesn't look like it should be, but it's awkward for both teams because there could be players in CT spawn spamming through the smokes. There could be, you know, a, a lot more distractions going on here. And just able to close out with that cave and lamps control, 11 now the score reads. And yeah, look, it, it'd be wild of me to say things are running away from Ents. They've already run away. Now it's just seeing if they can catch him. his pennies for this exact weapon. And a lot of mid-presence from Na'Vi. Doto's not ready for this. Oh, no way. The no way. What a shake-up from Na'Vi. A perfect little shake-up. Just as Ents tried to knock on the mid-door. Trajectory sold him a little bit there. Snappy could be false info as Electronic just burrows himself into the smoke. Back is turned, and that's a collection. You need to see a little more out of him as he's coming into Bit's domain. Or at least the bomb is. Deher and Hades partner up. They're not in a rush here, but looking to find... Look where Simple is. What is that angle? Is he up? He's on the little ledge. So Ugh. he's actually allowing them to cross completely into the site here. So if he didn't think the A bomb site was filthy enough, check this one out. Yeah, and he can catch any one of them going for that uh, box side plant. They will smoke him off. Let's see his reaction. It's good bad. smoke, actually. That's a really good smoke. Covers bo most of the side. Almost all <laughs> of the temple. Don't put your toes in his little hidey hole. Make sure the smoke isn't fading there either is no here, boys. Smoke this donut. is going to get real dicey. Oh, they got to kill a bit. They have to clear Donut. They haven't yet. Yeah, that's the frag. Simple reacts. They know where he is as well. And the smoke looking a little dodged. Trying to get away. Delay. 
That's his elbow. Good find from Snappy and good eyes as well. Info on the first. They don't know about Boomich's donut, but they're not in a rush just yet. Pause. Find the info. One was L. And Boomich hands an L to Snappy. It's a capital one as well. Looking like a 12th. Hades looking to come up clutch. He's the highest rated member of Ents. He's looked fantastic at times and he's got the info now. Time a matter. Emergency and he's hoping Perfecto's temple takes a gamble. It leads to 12. I, I don't envy any player left in that scenario on the T side. What are you actually meant to do? If I go to fight them, they'll just run away. If I go to plant, I'm open to everywhere. What are you meant to do? And they've gone for this bit play again. Na'Vi reading them like a book here. Electronic up close and personal. Simple and bit, they're ready to fight as well. The fact that Snappy gets this one, yeah, it evens things up, starts to make it a little bit closer. Simple's miss smoke also keeps him pinned to that corner. So Snappy's done a great job to try and turn this round on his head. But before Hades, it's like, it, you feel like you'd want to save, but when the scoreline was already 11 to one, now 12 to one, that's not the option, right? The option is we need rounds and we need them now. And this is just going so quick, right? We know what we're going to get up next on Nuke. Oh, but I wanted a quarterfinal. Well, it is a quarterfinal. Yeah, but like... A... Well, let me let me sell it to you and everybody at home okay. like this. Na'Vi are right now on track to win the Intel Grand Slam, to be the third team to ever do so, right? We've had Liquid before then. We've had Astralis before then. Na'Vi winning back-to-back -back lands in back-to-back -back years due to the whole COVID situation, yes. now have an opportunity to get it done in Pro League with Gambit out of the tournament. Na'Vi are playing some great Counter-Strike here today. And, well, just as we're starting to build them up, they're getting torn on down. So Ents may be finding their second round here, Alex. Yeah, maybe, but don't let me stop you. But I think reading the Blade interview, his words were that they're using the Intel Grand Slam as a motivating factor. I think Bits made no secret that he's a bit tilty, that he's had the first taste of that dreamy LAN experience, the emotions he described being much more different. But, I mean, he still looks like he's got his feet up and is fragging up a storm here in the online environment. Another one goes down with him. He's so punishing. He will take two on a bad day. Bombs in. That's not bad. This is cooking up for a second here, Chadney. Looking good, actually. Have the number advantage. Hades also going to be on a great flank there. That will catch them off guard. No utility right now for Na'Vi to operate with, and this should be destined to be Ents' second round. Oh, but look at the find. Boomage catching that plateau player. Hades is going to be the fail-safe. There shouldn't be any issue with him just denying the defuse, but he's going looking, which gets me just a little nervous. He's told the information across. Perfecto down. He knows where you are, and Spinks is playing ring around a rosy. He's on 2 HP, though. He is. Oh, 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 taking the <laughs> fight, dude. Oh, oh. All right. Well, showing some balls there, and we're going to need that for immense here. Now, that's actually not too bad overall, but Na'Vi, they're not going to have their money broken. Plenty of cash to splash. You're going to drop the guns across. They're looking great here. You'd love to get yourself to that 13 mark if you're Na'Vi. Yeah, look. 12-3 is great. 13-2 is better. You've got to show some balls when you're on Ents, right? I mean, I think Alu owns some of the organization. That's true. I think, yeah, it's in a contract or something along those lines. But here we go. Let's see. Ents, do you have another consolation round in you here? Or is it looking like Na'Vi are going to push your nose down into the dirt? Exchange of you till in mid. Bit over towards B at the start. They are so confident it's not A. They started with four players B. Now Bit's rotating all the way over. Perfecto lucky to be alive here. Dancing around the smokes and flames are flashed off. There you go. Hades with an entry. The trade is there. And they're coming fast now after Boomich. Yeah, and that's why I was just thinking about it, like seeing this, like, oh, they've got the banana control, the equivalent. You know, they've used their early Molotovs, early smokes, and taken and denied that from the tees. But a quick pop flash through the smoke, and just like that, the engagement's won. The territory is theirs. What do you do with this, though? A divided Na'Vi. Bit's playing very passive. He wants to be ready to rotate should he be required. He's responsible for the mid-slip as well. Yeah, so right now, Snappy actually taking the bomb all the way back through spawn. I, I think this is going to be telling of where they are going to finish. Now, is it going to be everybody through A main, or is it going to be with a bit of a mix-up and have somebody late through Donut? Because Simple right now is the pressure point of the A bomb site. In Donut with the AWP, he's low on HP, just 26, and he has to worry about mid as well as this A finish. So you can see here, just picking and choosing when the intuition allows it, and... Oh, electronic. Ah, uh, yeah. That info play right now from Na'Vi couldn't have been better timed. It was so silent. He literally just walked down. The cavalry's coming. Yeah, and they'll be there in time. Like, D has just got to the mouth of A, and so has three members of Na'Vi. Uh-oh. Utils here. A lovely gap for Simple to work his magic. The flash, however, gets them across safely. 
I say with bated breath, more frags in the feed from Na'Vi. Diha can't find them. He knows they're walking three bullets. It's insufficient and only Sphinx up against the wild with five seconds left. It will be... Third. You gotta try something. Things aren't going well. Maybe Snappy can show us how fantastic they really are. Decoy out mid, and away we go over towards the B bomb site here. Now, the bomb is still in T-spawn, so Na'Vi won't be going anywhere too fast. So we're having a look. One expert odds on your screen, and wow. Okay, that one has blown out, hasn't it? Simple's got three fights here against the USP. Shouldn't be favoured for any, and uh, not even looking his way. Dihar just uh, gifts himself over to the god himself. It's a sacrifice, a ritual. Okay, well, Hades has fallen once again into the underworld, and... Soto has been handed something a little manageable. <laughs> Let's not forget he wanted to play against Simple. Yeah, well, Perfecto can go A with the bomb. And Electronic knows that Dodo is on B right now. So unless Dodo starts running right this second, Perfecto should get into the site and be able to plant. It depends Ele on his plan. But Electronic has, right now, he has a smoke, a flash, and a USP. Oh, it's dreaming. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Dodo well, has one a clutch or two. We've seen him. There's a kit in mid, and he might have to take the detour. They're both in donut. Hello. And some trajectories will give him info. There's a world here where Dodo puts in his pistol in the pocket. He has to clear right, and he has it. He opted for the left. The adjustments aren't far off. But there's 14, and that kind of condemns the Ents' comeback dream. No real avenue back into Ancient here. And, and we know that Ents already love a force by right? So there's no conversation that we would be having in any world where we'd be like, all right, they're going to eco and then try and uh, get every single round possible in a row Force off of a third round by. Uh, yeah. 13 in a row. That ain't going to happen. So this is really it. If Ents lose this, the next round, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same buy that you're seeing right now pretty much again, maybe with an extra MP9 or two. And I'm calling it now. I've been to the future. And okay. we've got that Boomich Mac 10. Whenever he gets that in his hands, it's like he gets like a free day card. He's allowed to just go do what a he wants. Pass. Yeah, he gets a whole pass. Teachers can't stop him. And nades can. Oh. And uh, uh, yeah, first blood is drawn, and here goes the last few rounds of play. Now, Blade did say it's just three more series yeah. to get the Intel Grand Slam, but if you go even further, if they can just win without losing a map, it's only seven more maps. And you know what? Na'Vi, they want to speed run it. They're going to go, how many rounds are we going to lose? Let's keep that as low as possible too. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget, this is about legacy. It's, uh, uh, there's only a couple of names in the Intel Grand Slam list. There is two. Uh, Stralis, Liquid, and Na'Vi. And Blade made it very clear that he believes having that their name partnered up with that leaves the mark that they're intending to do so. It marks your power spike as a team as well. <laughs> the one that was slightly delayed, right? Yeah, yeah the, precisely. To be fair, though, let's be honest with ourselves here for a second. The team that won Katowice 2020 and the team that we get now with Bit, I know it looks like the same team Plus when they're one. dominating, but Bit is a real revelation. He is... I don't want to call him a safety net for the team, but he is now somebody who we can rely on to contribute more often than not. Yeah. And that's crazy, because we already had simple and electronic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> you're right. When you, when you start thinking about it that way, it does get a little um, intimidating. For yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it, there's, there's a lot of good Counter-Strike players out there, right? But to see where Bits come from and the fact that he's already turning his nose up at online, right? <laughs> yeah. He, he just went to his first LAN chat. And he his, won it. His first LAN, he won it, and it was a multiple hundreds of thousands dollar event. Oh, dear. I mean, it's IEM. He, his first LAN was IEM. He didn't have to put his PC in any car Setting boots. the bar very low. Yeah. Right? Setting the bar very low. And I'm sure the next LAN that Navi will go to will be the Stockholm Major, assuming yep. that they qualify. So. You know, wouldn't that be the way for him to start his career? Yeah, the first two lands I went to were uh, I am Cologne, we won it, and uh, the yeah. Major, yeah, we won that too. That's like giving a baby's first, like, real food. It's like Wagyu steak. <laughs> like, everything <laughs> is just going to be worse from now on. Oh, we're spoiling bit. We are, but well, I, I mean... I guess Na'Vi is spoiling bit. He's the new gen, though, right? Like, every team has got one or two names from this this new breed, and it's, it's very hit and miss into how well integrated they are, how much they hit the ground running, how complete of a player they can become at, at, a, at what pace, at what rate. There mm. we go, that's a sentence. Uh, and I think for me, you know, Bit is one of the top of the list in terms of just really taking to this Na'Vi roster. It's not like it's going to be easy. There must be such a barrage of information, complexities, personalities. Yeah, you're playing with simple. Yeah. Right, the good and the bad parts of that. Bingo. Sphinx has got something for me to talk about. Let's see. He's dead. Okay. Doto, however. He's up next. I don't want to say their names because then they just die. Doto. 
Oh, there you go. Well, he's got some more in the tank and chipping away at Perfecto for his second. Hades aggressing. This is the right move and that's the right frag. Enzar kicking up a bit of a fuss here. Walking in on that smoke, he's got a lot of room. But as soon as they plant, it's very possible that if with Bit busy... And the fade too. He uh, just pushes in. Uh, I think this one might be done. Another good opportunity for Ents here. Has just disintegrated right in front of our eyes. Good word for you. Yeah, petered out. We are watching as the slow final finish of our 16th. And it is going to be a quick one here on Ancient. We only need 18 rounds to get...